Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another awesome video from Mathcation. Now in this video we're going to be talking about how to subtract fractions with the same denominator. As you can see we have three important things that we need to remember when subtracting fractions with like denominators. The first step for subtracting fractions with the same denominator is to subtract the numerators from each other. So now fractions have two parts, they have a numerator which is the number that is written on top of the fraction and it is being divided by the denominator which is the number that is on the bottom of the fraction. So when you subtract you're going to subtract the numbers on top which are the numerators and you'll keep the denominator the same which is our second step. The second important thing we need to remember is that we keep the denominators the same. That means when you subtract you'll subtract the numerators from each other and the denominator will remain the same because the denominators have to be equal in order to subtract fractions. Finally, the last thing you want to do is reduce your answer to the lowest terms if possible. And if you're learning anything right now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other helpful math videos. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started with learning about subtracting fractions with like denominators. So here we are in our first problem. This problem gives us 4 fifths minus 2 fifths. So we already know that what we're going to do is we're going to subtract the numerators from each other. So that's the first part. So we're going to take this 4 and we're going to subtract it by the 2 because those are our two numerators. And then the denominator is going to remain the same. So our denominator is 5. So our denominator will remain a 5. So we do our numerators 4 minus 2 which is 2 and then we keep the denominator of a 5 which is 5. And then the last thing we want to do is we want to check to see if you can reduce this. In this case there's no number that goes into 2 and 5 evenly so our final solution is just going to be 2 fifths. So 4 fifths minus 2 fifths is equal to 2 fifths. Moving on to the second practice problem. This problem gives us 3 fourths minus 1 fourth. So again we're going to take the numbers in the numerator and subtract them from each other. So we're going to do 3 minus 1 because those are our two numbers in the numerator and we're going to write that over the denominators which in this case is a 4 so we keep that 4. When we subtract we'll subtract 3 minus 1 we subtract the numerators and you get 2 and then you keep the denominator of 4. Now we check to see if we can reduce this and in this case we have two fourths which are both even numbers which means the number 2 can go into the numerator and the denominator. When we reduce this you do 2 divided by 2 so we get a 1 and then in the denominator we do 4 divided by 2 so we get a 2. So our final solution after reducing by 2 is 1 half. So 3 fourths minus 1 fourth is 2 fourths but then after you reduce you'll get 1 half. Finally our last practice problem gives us 7 eighths minus 1 eighth. Again when we're subtracting fractions with like denominators we go ahead and we subtract the numerators. So we do 7 minus 1. We keep the denominator the same and in this case the denominator is 8. So we do 7 minus 1 which is 6 and the denominator is 8 so it stays 8. Then we check to see if we can reduce and in this case 6 eighths both of these are even so we can reduce by 2 again. So we're going to divide the numerator by 2 and the denominator by 2. When we reduce we get 6 divided by 2 for the numerator which is 3 and then 8 divided by 2 for the denominator which is 4. And our final solution is 3 fourths. So 7 eighths minus 1 eighth is originally 6 eighths but then after you reduce you'll get 3 fourths. And if you want to do some more practice on subtracting fractions with the same denominator, go ahead and click on this link in the top right corner of your screen and it will take you to some quick practice questions. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it and drop a comment telling me if this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya!